has won both matchups against Victor Wembanyama and the San Antonio Spurs by an average of 31 points here. But that hasn't stopped odds makers at ESPN Bet in the Rookie of the Year race. Victor is the heavy favorite, as you can see there, against Chet. But let's not forget, these two have history. They were rivals before they even entered the NBA. So, so what's Victor's mindset, Brian, headed into this one? I think Victor's mindset is the Thunder have a lot better team than the Spurs. Yep. <laughs> and a year from now, he'd like the gap to be closed. And two years from now, he'd like it to be really closed. I mean, one of the things that's happened over the course of this season is Victor has played better and better put up more efficient and more impressive numbers, shown that he can be durable, shown he can place the center position, which he wasn't at the start of the season. But he's also made it clear he's not thrilled with where the Spurs are. Yes. The team is not as good as he expected it to be and, frankly, doesn't have the personnel to, to, to compete. And I don't think the Spurs are going to be able to, quote, unquote, get away with a slow, long build, like the Thunder have done, quite mm. frankly. And Chet sat on the sidelines this whole first season and entered a team that was in much better shape. I think the Spurs are going to face some, some interest from Victor to start getting it going much sooner than maybe they, they would even prefer. Victor is as competitive as anybody. He wants to win. The other day when he had that 5x5 five five in, in Crypto.com Arena and we told him afterwards, I said, you're the first player since Michael Jordan to achieve uh, th this specific stat line for, in two games. And he said, okay, <laughs> well, did Michael Jordan win those games? And I walked out with him and I said, yeah, I, I, I looked it up, hate to tell you, yeah, he did win. And he goes, dang, I'm jealous. That is the kind of competitive fire. He, this season for Victor is not acceptable. Normally, you'd see a rookie, even a rookie of the year, who wouldn't be so stressed on wins and losses. It really, really bothers him. It's, it's, it's who he is. And I, obviously, a professional basketball players want to win. I know that that's not unusual. But I don't think it's in his mindset to, 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 you know, to keep this going.